Hello, good morning everybody. Starting off today's video by sitting down, doing my makeup. Thought I would update you on the last week. It was my birthday. I am officially 33 years old, <laughs> which blows my mind. I've not put my SPF on yet, so I'm gonna do a bit of this. I've not tried this before. It's the Super Goop Glow Screen SPF 40 Sunscreen. Oh, it's tinted. Okay. That is lovely. Let's see if it reacts with my eyes because I find that SPF makes my eyes water a lot of the time. So I'm very specific about which ones I use, but looks nice. Um, and I actually posted on my Instagram the other day that I have been sharing snippets of my life on the internet since I was 18 years old. So 15 years, which is mad. How old will I need to be for it to be half my life? Oh, that's too much maths for a Monday morning. <laughs> And I honestly had the best day. I actually left it up to Alfie to decide what we were doing because I just felt too much pressure <laughs> with doing something and I didn't know what to do and everyone kept asking me, oh, what are you gonna do for your birthday? Um, and I was like, I don't know. So I said to Alfie, do you know what? I'm gonna leave you in charge. And it was honestly just the nicest day. Started off the day by having a Stylish Eats breakfast platter, which is always my fave. Then all the family came round and we all had breakfast and opened presents. And then Alfie whisked me off to Beaverbrook Hotel and Spa for a little spa treatment, which was lovely. And then when we got back, Mark was here and the rest of the family came back over and Alfie had hired um, like a pizza tent that came on our driveway and it was just perfect. And the pizza was so good. And then Mark stayed over, which was so nice because I don't think he'd stayed over our house in a really long time. And that was my very lovely 33rd birthday. I still find it so, like such a weird coincidence that I threw a big party for my 29th because that is such a random year to throw a big party. Like so many of you are like, why wouldn't you have done that for your 30th? Or like, I don't know, It my 29th, for any of you that may be new or don't remember, for my 29th, Alfie, I threw a massive 90s themed birthday at the house. Alfie secretly got S Club, who were an S Club 3 at the time. Now they're an S Club 7 again. Best news ever. Um, they came and performed, which was insane. And so many people were like, that just seems like such a big thing for a 29th. Then COVID hit. And my 30th and 31st was in like, well my 30th was in like full on lockdown, didn't see anyone, didn't do anything. My 31st was, I think the day before they had said you could have six people in the garden. So my 31st was in the garden. Thank God we had good weather because we wouldn't have been able to do that this year. And then my 32nd, were we in a lockdown then? No. Um, it was just very chilled. I'm just so glad I did that big party when I did it because I genuinely, I just don't think I would do that now. Honestly, if you want like the glowiest glow, this iconic illuminator is so glowy. <laughs> Looking at this reminds me that last night I had a dream that I was trying to fill in my brows and doing a really terrible job of it. And I had one brow that was really dark and angled and patchy. Um, what a wild dream. I actually really need to get my brows done. Whoa, okay. 
whoa there. I always find my left brow so much easier to fill in than my right brow. Well, I've kind of replicated my dream, to be honest. I had one really dark brow. <laughs> what have I done there? Using the Vive Soul Shadows in Terra, which is a beautiful new quad. Love it. And let's go for my Hourglass Unlocked Mascara. Great. I'm wearing this new t-shirt and I'm, this is like probably one of the most boring things I could ever say, but I love it. <laughs> I love this t-shirt so much. I can't even remember. Maybe I got served it. I'm scared I'm like putting makeup on it. Maybe I got served it as an ad on Instagram. I, I can't remember or somebody linked it, but it's a brand called boa probably the nicest quality t-shirts so soft perfect amount of stretch fit really nicely the only thing i would say is it's like thong poppers like a body so it's like the poppers are like thong style which aren't my fave like i don't find them as comfy especially because i don't really wear thongs that much i'm all about the like brazilian or brief to be honest so wearing a pair of those knickers with the with the thong poppers it's creating a little bit of a <laughs> roosh but i can look past all that because it's just such a nice t-shirt i bought it in black gray and white uh, which i'm very very happy about um i don't actually remember what size this is but i feel like i bought a couple of different sizes um i think maybe this is a size small and i also got some extra small so extra small is going to be very tight because i think really i'm a small might have to get some more in other sizes but really really love it when i walk out of here i will double check the brand because i've got the other two on the hanger that's my face done um i'm actually heading into the office this morning not for the whole day i'm only going to go in for the morning catch up with maddie oh my god my stomach I need to eat <laughs> i need to eat something catch up with maddie oh one of the things i really want to do today is it's obviously easter sunday this weekend as you're watching this in fact it's easter sunday here in the uk so happy easter if that's something that you celebrate but i really want to put together a little easter hamper for otty so i just wanted to like scramble together some little easter bits i actually have a little hamper that i got in a pr package um that i'm gonna use as my hamper because i just thought it was a really good size um i've already bought her a little easter egg from mns and i bought her like a couple of like easter activity pack stickers i think a book mark also bought her a book hopefully by the end of today i'm gonna have some sort of easter hamper oh my god my stomach can you hear it? <laughs> I'm so hungry. Also going to have all the family over and I have ordered a few Eastery bits. Basically, this is just gonna be quite an Easter filled vlog. So if that sounds like a bit of you, I hope you enjoy it. And I've just bought a couple of like decorative bits for the table and um, Alfie and I have made big plans for an Easter egg hunt, not just for Ottie, but for the adults. We actually did this once uh, in Alfie's house, but it did take us a while to remember how we did it. Cause I was like, I'm sure we were all like running around trying to grab plastic eggs. It wasn't chocolate. We've done a few Easter egg hunts as adults over the years. Some of them involving chocolate, but then there's just too much, there's just too much chocolate and it's just, it doesn't get eaten. And if you forget where you've hidden stuff, animals and wildlife will eat it. And we were just a bit like, Oh, there's so many of us we'd have to hide so much chocolate it'll melt things that shouldn't be eating it will eat it so we just thought let's just stick to non-edible eggs <laughs> so we've ordered some on amazon in various different colors sizes and shapes i actually ordered some little fake carrots um and we're gonna do a score system my stomach i feel like my stomach is vlogging with me <laughs> at this point various eggs mean various different points everyone will have a set amount of time 
obviously between Alfie and I, one of us will have to hide the eggs and not be involved, which I'm perfectly fine to do. Um, I kind of like to be the like, the leader of the games anyway, so that's fine by me. At the end, we tally everyone's scores based on what eggs they found. So obviously some eggs will be much harder to find because they will be smaller. Some eggs will be a little rarer, so they will be worth a certain amount of points. And the winner will win an Easter prize. I think it will probably be like an Easter hamper with lots of like nice bits in. But I also, when I'm in town today, want to buy bits for that as well. So there's a lot of stuff I wanna buy. As you know, I love an event. Easter is no exception. I just wanna make it fun and nice for everyone. Uh, and I just feel like if there's a good prize that people wanna win, everyone's gonna be a little bit more competitive. Even though my family is so competitive, like all of us are pretty competitive, I would say, in some way. Who is the least competitive though? I actually think Amanda is the least competitive. I'm just gonna say it. She just wants everyone to have a good time. She doesn't really care. Everyone else will be pulling each other's hair out to get the eggs, um, <laughs> which is always fun. I've also ordered a tiny um, little bunny that I'm gonna hide for a bonus prize. So if someone can find the bunny, they instantly get a bonus prize. I don't know what that bonus prize is right now. Hopefully I see it in town. Uh, but yeah, it's just a bit of fun. And also the bunny is, um, it kind of goes with Otty's animal toys. So I thought she could keep it afterwards, which would be good. But yeah, that's the plan for this week. It was Boa. This is the brand Boa. And this is an extra small. And did I buy, I bought a gray one. Here's the gray one. That's an extra small. So they might actually be a bit tight for me because I'm currently wearing the small and I would say this is probably a perfect fit. But yeah, I love it. I'm going quite smart today. Smart cash for a day in the office. I'm gonna put my Converse on, my jewels. This is obviously my necklace that um, Alfie got me in New York for my 28th birthday. We went and, who saw the vlog? It was a while ago, but um, we went and like made it. Then one year, Poppy, Sean, Amanda and Nick bought me this charm to add to it. That was for my 30th actually, which is so lovely. And then for my 33rd, Alfie got me this necklace, which I absolutely love. It has a little Z charm with a diamond and you can add other letters or other charms, but I really love it. I love that the chain is like slightly thicker and I've just got this snake chain on here. Lots of necklaces going on. <laughs> There's a lot going on here. Um, why do I feel like I've forgotten something on my face? Why do I look so strange? Oh, I've overdrawn my lip. These trousers are, I wanna say Bershka, H&M. Vitamin D, one spritz, and my perfume, which is all in front of me. Um, sometimes I like to leave this with my perfume because then I actually remember to spray it in my mouth. Haven't yet picked up a perfume and sprayed it in my mouth. I feel like it's only a matter of time. <laughs> but at least when I'm coming here to put perfume on each day, I remember to do my vitamin D. So sometimes that just sits here with my Jo Malone. <laughs> Fragrance of the day, I'm gonna do Blackberry and Bay, a classic, nice and fresh. Right, I am now going to head into the office. I've arrived at the office, I'm very excited to be here. There is something about being in Brighton town, in the lanes on a sunny day that instantly just puts me in the best mood. <laughs> So anyway, I have a very exciting sponsor for today's video that I cannot wait to talk to you about. I have already mentioned this game in a video. Did I talk about it maybe in my... I think I might have mentioned it in Vlogmas actually. The game in particular is Two Dots, which as I said is a puzzle game. There are many, many different like mini games and things that you can play within it. So the main part of the game is that you make your way up 
the levels and you're connecting the dots and completing each level by removing what you need to remove. And I love playing that. But there is also a part of the game that is my favorite part of the game. And this is what I mentioned in my December video. For me, my favorite part of the Two Dots app is the scavenger hunt. There will be scavenger hunts on and off um, I think there's currently an Easter one that I am yet to complete because I've been saving it. And it's essentially a beautifully designed world, um, all based around different themes. You basically have to find all the items. And it sounds so simple, but I cannot tell you how much joy it brings me. I actually went on the app earlier to see how many I'd done because you could you get like little collectible badges for each different um, levels you complete or different scavenger hunts. I have completed 61 scavenger hunts. I've collected 61 different badges which I'm very very proud of. This is one of the maps so as you like find the things it uncovers more and more. I feel like it's the sort of thing maybe I'll pop like a little graphic down the side so you can see it a bit clearer. It's just fun, it's designed so beautifully, I just find it so visually appealing. And another thing that I really love about the app is that because it has so many different games within it, there is something that each person might prefer to play. So Poppy, for example, prefers to just play the classic two dots, swiping and matching all the dots and going up the leaderboard, whereas I am much more of a scavenger hunt player myself because I find it so relaxing. So if you're looking for a new game to play on your phone or if you want something relaxing to do in an evening I will leave the link down below to go and download it. It is free on iOS and Android and I'll also pop a little QR code up here if you are watching this on a TV or a screen you can just hover your phone over it and you'll be able to download it from there. Now I'm gonna take I'm gonna take myself outside into the sunshine and I'm gonna see if I can pick up these bits for Otty's Easter basket and the Easter prize for the egg hunt. And also some lunch because I'm actually, I'm still hungry. Have I eaten anything since my stomach was rumbling this morning? Yes. Was it filling and nutritious? No. <laughs> so now I'm going to go and find something that is. Nipped into Lush, checking out some of their Easter bits so that I can get something for Otty for her little hamper. How cute is this? Also, carrots. What did we just see? Oh, this. I know that this has been around for a very long time, but I think she will absolutely love this. So me and Maddie have both grabbed one of those. It smells so good. <laughs> it's like really citrusy. Ooh, did I just rub that on my nose? Oh, this, Maddie, it's Twilight in a bubble bar. It's Smell it. <laughs> Wait, let me get you a bag. Here you go. This looks fun. This is Easter. Oh, that smells lovely. I haven't actually been in a Lush store in a very long time. I'm probably going to get savagely copyrighted by Brittany. So I might have to turn you off. This is far too tempting. <laughs> Walking around town in this weather is so lovely. Me and Maddie were saying how we haven't been in a Lush in a while. But it's actually a very fun experience. It makes me feel very nostalgic to go in and like smell them all and look at them all. I feel like I used to go into Lush all the time. Same. And now I just don't have time to do it at all. I used to do my little blog posts back in the day on all my Lush haul bits and pieces that I'd ordered. Do you remember they would send it in popcorn? Oh yeah, all that like, yeah, yeah, yeah All yeah. the packaging was the popcorn. Packaging, yeah. Um, but now we're going to head to Joe and the Juice, get some lunch and I'll show you what I bought when we get back to the office. I'm back. My lunch has been eaten and I'm going to share with you what I've picked up. So let's start with Lush. This little Hoppy Easter kit, in it you've got Follow the White Rabbit Bath Bomb, Rockstar Rabbit Soap and Confetti Cake Lip Scrub. Just thought that was like a cute thing to add. Bear in mind I actually have no idea if the person winning this even has a bath because Alfie's parents don't have a bath, my mum doesn't have a bath. There's soap and lip scrub, <laughs> so they can use that. Then, as you saw, I picked this up for Otty. This is the Technicolor Dream Bar for your most inventive creations. Seven colours await, each with their own beautiful fragrance for the most sensational models, baths and lathers. So Otty is very into Play-Doh and Kinetic Sand right now. And I just feel like she's going to absolutely love playing with this in the bath. This will just end up as one big brown lump, <laughs> probably. <laughs> but I think she'll really enjoy it. 
and it smells incredible. This was also just something for me. It's the Sleepy Bubble Bar. Um, as I was saying, just my favourite fragrance in Lush. I absolutely love it. Oh, I saw this and I just thought Otty would love it. So this is called Toby's Magic Cow. How cute. So it's a little white cow, but obviously inside it's all colourful. Oh, it smells lovely. I've not actually really used many bath bombs with Otty. I think I put like the little robot one in once. Um, but I think she was still too young to really <laughs> register what was going on. Um, so she might be a bit more interested this time. Then I got this for Otty's camper. It's a little carrot bubble bar. And then they also gave me a green one for free. The lovely lady at the till was like, I'm going to give you a green one. I was like, thank you so much. That's very kind. So now she has an orange carrot and a green carrot. This is not for her hamper, but I saw this and just knew she would love it. So for a while back, I think it was in December because it was like a Santa um, shower jelly. She loved it. It was like her favourite thing to just like hold the jelly in the bath and it would like slip out of her hands. Um, so I got the gummy bear one. I'm not going to get it out because I, oh, my hands will get so sticky. But, well, that was close. But it's in the shape of a gummy bear. I think she'll love it. Um, and then I got this for her hamper. And this is called Follow the White Rabbit. Oh, it smells lovely. And again, it's like the cow one where it's like white, but there's obviously some colour in the middle, which I think she'll love. Then in Flying Tiger, I got this little chick basket for when Otty does her little Easter egg hunt. I just thought that was very cute. I got these little spring marshmallows. I might just put these in a little bowl, maybe. Um, just thought they were cute. And then <laughs> this. Uh, Otty loves putting things in things and taking them out. So I just thought this was really cute. You zip the chick inside, then you can unzip the chick and take the chick out. Uh, I just feel like this is very otty. And then, completely unrelated Easter things. Some hair clips. Otty's got like one really long bit of fringe like hanging down in front of her face. So, something to clip her fringe out of the way. Uh, equally, I think she'll just pull it out. But we can try. Possibly one of my favourite card games is Go Fish. And it's actually weirdly a very hard to come by card game, unless I'm just looking in all the wrong places. But I was trying to buy it for, who was I trying to buy it for? I was trying to buy it for someone not too long ago. And I just feel like I looked everywhere online and I just couldn't find it. And then I saw this and I just thought, go fish, lovely. I got go fish, even though we do technically have it, but it's actually a Mandarin Nyx game that we just keep in our games cupboard. <laughs> so I could give it back to them. These, which I thought were fun, they're wax crayons but they look like massive pencils and they come with a giant pencil sharpener. To be fair, I could actually put these in her um, Easter hamper because I've got like, I think I've got colouring in book, maybe. Um, I got this colouring in book and it just has loads of random drawings and designs and things for her to colour in. She loves colouring in right now. It's definitely up there with one of her favourite activities. So I just thought the more things she has to colour in, the better, because we did get a little bit of wax crayon on the wall the other day. And then I also got this. I think maybe this might be a bit old for her right now, but it was too cute and I couldn't leave it. It's a sticker book and it has lots of different animals. Then you get lots of different outfit stickers that you can stick on all the other animals. I just thought that was very cute. And then I will show you once I get home what other little bits I have to pop in the hamper. Right, I'm probably gonna head home now. So I will see you when I get there. I am home and I've made it in time for house playtime. Oh, that doesn't look like it does have any raisins in it. Oh yeah, it Sultanas. Probably. They look good though. Where did you get them from? Unbelievable. 
sugar dough Raven. down on oh, the beach. sugar dough. Yeah. Did you see how you spelt bakery on your story? And, I was, <laughs> and on the story before I also did you spelling mean mistake. To, did you mean to spell <laughs> it like that? I just put a story up a second ago. <clears throat> being bakery. Like, Guys, cut me some slack, it's Monday. <laughs> That's when you're meant to be the most energised. <laughs> oh my gosh, God, this is unreal. The hot cross bun. Uh -oh. Looks like it's got sugar on top. Crap. No. I don't it's want to bite so that, I don't think. <laughs> what have you got? Where's the other one? Um, yeah, I've made it back just in time for a bit of playtime in the garden. Shark. Is it going to get my finger? Turn him over. This is a shark too. Finger in. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> down. What was that noise? Did you hear her? She is very firmly in her Peppa Pig loving time, isn't she? We knew it was coming, <laughs> but she actually thing. likes George the most. George is her favourite at the minute. Right. While she's distracted, what's she saying? Shark. Shark. Oh. Shark. While she's distracted, I might put her hamper, her Easter hamper together. Mm. While she's out here. Paw Patrol. Paw Patrol. <laughs> Doing backwards. Okay. I did start making the hamper, um, but I got sidetracked because the other day, Otty and I sat down and we made these little Easter cards, didn't we? We've made quite a few. I basically just drew an egg shape and just let her do what she wanted to it. Um, we've got stickers, we've got squiggles. I think they're all very cute. Cute. Should we move you a bit closer to the table? What we do need is we need you to sign some of them. Because you've signed this one to Uncle Mark, haven't you? Oh, be careful, Mummy needs those to Auntie Poppy and Uncle Sean. So have you signed that one? Thank you. Uh-oh. Oh, is it not really coming out? Do you want to use this pen then? Try that one. That's it, Be that's better. Oh. Wow, that's amazing, Ottie. Can you please sign, or oh, you've already signed that one to Nanny and Dad Dad. <gasps> Can you sign this one to Uncle Joe and Auntie Dot? Guys, if you're watching this, she really did sign them. <laughs> I feel like one of my favourite things about having a toddler that's like into arts and crafts now is making cards to send to people. We're going to put them in the post, aren't we? We take them to the post box. Want to post them yourself? Yeah. Yeah? Well, if mummy writes the addresses and then puts the stamps on, should we take them out to the post box? Would that be fun? Yep. Yeah? <laughs> Also, even though we see all these people who are drawing on the mat, that's okay, it wipes off. Even though we see these people all the time, I just feel like there is nothing more special than getting a card in the post. So sometimes we just like to post them, don't we? Because it's a nice surprise. Uh. It's okay, you can draw on that. Mummy, have the pen back now. Uh. Mm. You've just like, popped up out of nowhere. Hiya. I just saw it on the corner. <laughs> on my phone. Now that the clocks have gone forward, it is very it's deceiving. It's been in three minutes. On my head it was three o'clock. It feels like that, it really does. Whoa. I'm going to put these addresses on them. Do you want to walk down with us to the post box? Yeah. Lovely. Right, we are heading out to the post box post these cards because if we don't do it now it will never get done and then Easter will be over. <laughs> yeah. Okay, dinner, bath, and bed has been done. 
for at least one of us in this family. I'm halfway there. <laughs> I've put my pajamas on because I wanted to get cozy and get comfy. I still need to take my makeup off, do some skincare. And I thought now would be the perfect time, now that Otty's not gonna be like pulling everything out of the basket and trying to play with it already, to show you what I have bought her for her little Easter hamper. We all know by now that I'm quite OTT. This is by no means necessary. I just really enjoy doing these things and I thought it would be nice for her to have different things to do over the Easter weekend. Not that she's aware of what a weekend is and what a weekend isn't. I just thought it'd be nice to give her this on Friday and she can use bits from it throughout the Easter bank holiday weekend. Also, yes, I do currently have classic EastEnders on in the background because it is such a comfort watch. Like if you just need to be transported back to like 1999 or like the year 2000, early 2000s, just put classic EastEnders on, honestly. It, it's so nostalgic and amazing, I love it. We've got this little M&S bunny. Inside you get a bubbly bunny, a net of solid milk chocolate eggs, two little um, chocolate lollies, and a bag of chicky, chocky, speckled eggs. How cute is that though? I just thought she would love that. Then I've got the wax crayons from Tiger and the egg and chick from Tiger. Then I ordered these on Amazon. These are playground chalk eggs. I thought she would really enjoy using these outside on the pavement. Then we've obviously got all the little bits from Lush, the carrots, the white rabbit, and I did put this in there as well, the rainbow. Um, bath, what's it actually called? Fun. We've got the book from Mark which I just thought would be perfect in here. Lift the flaps and find the eggs, cute. Um, and then just on Amazon, I ordered her Peppa's Excellent Easter with 100 stickers. Otty's very into Peppa Pig, as I said earlier. She's also very into stickers, so this is just like her absolute heaven. Um, then I also got this one, which is the Very Hungry Caterpillars Easter sticker and coloring book. So she can use the wax crayons and do some coloring. Um, she also really loves the Hungry Caterpillar as well. And then this, which I thought was very cool, is painting, but you just use water. So there's no actual color. They just dip the paintbrush in water and then they can just color in all these really cute little Easter sketches. And I got that on Amazon as well. And that is her little Easter basket. I love it and I think Otty's gonna really love it too, but for now, I need to hide it. Hello, welcome to Thursday. Um, whoa, that's not normal. Our fireplace is coming away from the wall. Okay. Anyway, it's Thursday, and I said, um, and I said the other day that I would share with you a couple of the little Easter bits I had for the table, and I thought I'd get a little bit ahead and start decorating the table today, because even though people aren't coming until Sunday, it's nice to feel prepared and also I just enjoy making it look nice. So let's get cracking. Do you know what, instead of going through everything, I'm gonna put it all out and start doing the table and then I can show you at the end everything I've done. mostly finished. Let me give you a little rundown. We have 10 placemats. I've alternated because I don't have 10 of the same and I feel like it's much nicer to make it like obvious <laughs> that you don't have 10 of the same placemats. So I've gone for three different ones. These were from Primark a few years ago. These were from H&M and these were from Anthropology. Tablecloth is H&M. Got 
couple of these cute little Eastery dishes. These were from John Lewis Home. Salt and pepper pot uh, was a gift from Poppy and Sean. I feel like no Easter is complete without fluffy chicks. So I've scattered them around the table. <laughs> we have the bunny napkins. Again, I didn't have 10 of the same napkins, but I do have quite a nice variety of different kinds. So I just mix and matched all of my napkins that felt somewhat eastery. Then these little glass eggs are from John Lewis Home. And instead of tying the eggs on these bits of like twine to hang, I wrapped the napkins into bunny ears and popped the eggs in the middle. So there's a combination of um, checkered ones and then some cute little animal or flowery ones, which I thought were very cute. These paper bunnies were from John Lewis Home. Candlesticks and stripy candles H&M. This is John Lewis Home. And then I bought these little mix match um, small vases because I don't have anything like this. Every time I want to do cute, tiny little flower arrangements, I just don't have anything like it. So I actually just got these on Amazon. They're all slightly different. There's another one there and then another one over there. All slightly different shapes, but they just look so cute. And then I just pop some flowers from the garden and then some tulips, some hyacinths, my favorite spring flower. And what else? Oh, these are some Heather Evelyn candles. I love her candles. They say hop, 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 happy Easter. And I also bought these little candle holders from her website as well. I got a pink one and I got a yellow one. And then because I felt like it was missing something in the middle, I just got this like twisty twine and popped it in this vase. But I basically just want people once they've, <laughs> once they've actually unwrapped their napkin, I just, I thought maybe they could add this and hang their eggs on there if they fancied it. Otherwise, I feel like we're going to have eggs rolling around the table and smashing on the floor. So it will be encouraged. <laughs> Something fun to do while they wait for dinner to be served, maybe. Um, but yeah, I'm very happy with it. It feels very cute, very fun, very floral, very spring. And yeah, I'm very much looking forward to Sunday. Anyway, I am going to leave this vlog here. But I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it got you in the celebratory mood <laughs> um, and I hope you're having a lovely Easter if you're watching this on Easter Sunday or Easter Monday or any other day. I just hope you're having a good day. <laughs> Don't forget to check out the link in the description to go and download two dots for free and I will see you again very very soon.